چو خدمت کرنک اس جذب سٹھا چھ بکرا تن اس قسم کران چھ بکرا تن اس قسم کران بلن بیمار یہ چھ مدا چھ ایم کوئی علم اس حاصل کران On behalf of Government Medical College, Srinagar, I welcome you all to our prestigious institution. It's a proud moment for us to welcome Batch 2024 students, MBBS students. Today, your hearts must be swelling with pride, not only for you, but also for your parents. It is their arduous journey of, say, 18 years, they have stood beside you and it's because of their perseverance and maybe sometimes the scoldings that they must have given you that today you are here in front of us. A big round of applause for all the proud parents. <laughs> for my new addition to the GMC family, it's a proud moment for me to welcome you all to our prestigious institution once again. Yet Adam dry in San Bani, yet a good dry look. I congratulate all of you for getting admitted in this prestigious uh, medical college. All of you must have worked very hard to get a seat in this college. I still say that this college is the best. <laughs> when you go now to the so Hindi mein angde bolte hain, this hospital has 3,500 beds. This is a medical college associated eight medical colleges. Remember, our anesthesia department has 75 workstations. They are only present in New York. Eight endoscopes, which were made by Japan for pediatric purpose. We, this is the one medical college which has that one medical college. This medical college, which, as I said, first medical college, oldest in the state, provides you all the facilities, academic, curricular, co-curricular, extracurricular, and it is up to you to utilize all these things. We don't forget empathy and compassion very, very important part of being a doctor. In your life, try to contribute to the people, try to make their lives better. That's what we're here for. So please utilize your clinical postings very well. It should not be that the opportunity is there and you take it as a, you take it as a noise once uh, opportunity knocks at the door. You should not take it as a noise, take it as an opportunity. Everyone and knowledge, so this, system will offer you the best possibilities and use for learning. So I once again welcome you. Skills are to be learned in the laboratories and on the patients within the hospitals. So please ensure that you attend your hospitals, your clinical postings, your practical classes regularly. And I believe the college authorities have taken a strong uh, exception that no student should be allowed to pass or be allowed to appear in exam unless they have the stipulated attendance. You have chosen this place and God has chosen you for this place. So it's reciprocal. There will be no let-ups. There will be no thing, nothing that you will not be able to learn in surgery once we are there. This is one of the best places to learn if you really want to learn. So I'll again congratulate your parents for showing you the way to this place and to you for coming and you are going to be very good doctors, very good human beings, that's all. This love, compassion, this empathy that you have for the patient and the smile of the patient should be your biggest reward, I think. So that we together create a community which will bring a change, in a positive change in the healthcare system. You know, our hospital is the biggest uh, department in the government in college still in Hospital, where we cater to the needs of the women and the yet to be born children. So let's make it a safe haven 
for all of them. All the parents want their children to write a prescription. So ours is a department that will make you write a legible and rational prescription. So that is very important and you will become a doctor. Once you start writing a prescription, you, you think you are a doctor. Learn how to develop skills to have a good doctor-patient relationship. Take care of your mental health overall. You ought to learn how to be empathetic, compassionate, and at the same time have high standards of work ethics. We as teachers are here to learn, teach you and you are here to learn. So there ought to be no compromise on both the sides. We will teach you and you have to learn. And at the same time, I will just try to be brief. I see you as the doctors who are going to treat us tomorrow. So better please study hard. You'll have to study a lot. You will come across a lot of pressures during your, uh, these four and a half years. But you have to be resilient. The most important thing is that you should attend to your classes regularly, both your theory, your practical, as well as your clinical classes. And our subject, the forensic medicine, has been upgraded with par, at par with clinical subjects. And it is one of the most important subjects being pursued by the postgraduates. It is basically a medical university where we have more than 100, we have 180 MBBS admissions. We have more than 800 postgraduates. We have 58 DNB and DRNB students. We have also here DM and MCH courses. I congratulate you for joining this in a suit. As a member of the medical profession, as a member of the medical profession, I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. The health and well-being of my patient will be my first consideration. The health and well-being of my patient will be my first consideration. <laughs> ये थे बेमारन मैं से शफा करूं